Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Martha and I am working on the Anna Griffin Create Event Scrapbooking at Home, Crop at Home. Um, this has been a crazy ride. It's been 21 pages and I've been uh, working on them and showing you uh, how I tweak them, how I change them. Uh, I just love the paper. The, the techniques that we learned have been phenomenal, so I kind of want to just pass them on to you. Uh, I, I'm a natural hoarder, but keeping all the little scraps after to do these wonderful little things like this uh, has changed my mind, and now I, I keep wanting to grab more scraps out of the trash can, So, uh, which I have done in the past before. So here is the page. We've got gold foil print underneath and of course you're going to do the one inch trim around it so you can recycle the top for a page uh, and then the black is also a one inch strip and then here we have a uh, blue which is text weight blue paper and then the white which is a heavier cardstock paper right here i have not glued all of my uh, flowers down because i like to kind of let it sleep like this and then uh, the next day I come back and look at it and think do I want to take off uh, these two flowers maybe uh, I have a bunch right here that I can't decide should it just stay like that and leave it just the center um, so or do I add these on so I kind of just uh, play with that a little bit I usually also cut out these flowers here uh, instead of adding them all in sometimes I, I cut around them a little fussy cutting around them and kind of do it and make it work the way I need it to work uh, in for, for what I'm thinking of. Uh, I love ribbon on scrapbook paper, so I use it quite often. Uh, but if you think about this, this is a card. This is a card you can send to your friend and then you add this elaborate area to the side and you have a scrapbook page. Uh, I put uh, the blue generation of love and pushed it up against, uh, laid it on top of a gold foil just to add more to it, make it a little bit more substantial. Of course, if you know if you put that down and it doesn't work for your picture, you can always add a flower right on top of it. So uh, don't be afraid of using these now before you even add the pictures in, uh, which you know some of my girlfriends will say that my um, layouts are, are always done and gorgeous, uh, but Sometimes they don't ever have pictures in them, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, the little bird here I absolutely love. And then I kind of started doing this little area. You see how I kind of cut the areas out? This was one big piece and I kind of cut it out to make it fit or make it uh, look a little bit more even. Do you see how that works? And... Um, then when I start it with this, see if I take them apart, you can kind of see how I kind of push them around and move them. Uh, this is going to pop up and twist, I'm thinking. So you need to be careful where you end up with your little leaves. If you put them right here, then maybe these leaves you want to cut off and put underneath. So uh, that might be something I, I do. But So here's what I ended up with. The corners I started doing this and then I ended up thinking I wanted it to be more of a circular reef type so I kind of pushed them in and that's when I, I thought I needed a bow in the middle to kind of give it that circular reef looking thing. Now this is absolutely perfect just the way it is. Maybe adding some flourishes hanging out here uh, would be perfect to kind of finish it up. Uh, but if I add a rose and keep adding maybe with some pop-up dots, you see that, how that changes the whole thing. But then I thought maybe some little bitty ones uh, to kind of make the gray part pop out would work better. Do you see how you start building up your little reef on paper? Uh, so here is all of my little flowers that we'll work on later. And now let me show you how we built the page. So, and I lied. Here's the gold is complete... Uh, a complete gold foil underneath. So if you can see, here's all the layers. So here we have, and I'm gonna turn this around and we're gonna take this little brad off so you can kind of see I'm dissembling uh, so that you can see where I'm at and putting this together. Here we go. Very easy to do. I like, I love this 
uh, core tape, score tape to do that with. Okay, so here is my little book that goes on the front. And it's the black, it's the gold, and then the white on top. And you pull out and you end up with that letter M that I just love. But then I love the back of this and I did not want to end up putting this black part down on gold. So that's why I um, did that part. Now what we're going to do here real quick so I can show you how I built this around is we're taking the little brad out from the center. So you can see how we did that. And you see on the back I have a magnet. And then I draw a little black, a little X. And I use paper usually to kind of find the center. See there? And then I go from corner to corner and find the center. And then I use my pokey tool uh, from Cricut to find that center piece there. So here is our letter M right there. And then one more piece right here. And that shows us that we can still use all of this to add pictures to. I add those magnets in the middle and the magnets on the other side. And then this little piece here is a piece of chipboard. It's a little bit thick for me, so I might make it a little bit thinner, uh, but that helps keep this up popped up so that when it's spinning, it doesn't snag onto things. So that is the part of it that we want to look at. When you're adding a flower to the outside and you flip it over, you have to have the opposite flower on the other side to keep that. Uh, or you need to cut the other flower on the bottom and build it this way, okay? So think about that when you add flowers. That's why I was kind of pushing mine in to the actual center and only putting flowers on this piece and not letting them fall over to the gold area, okay? So here's the little booklet, the letter M with a backing. This one has chipboard, so it's nice and strong. And the ones in the middle are just the cardstock weight. They're not extra strong, but they work good. And then once you put pictures on them, they're gonna be stronger. Here is the date labels, which is the center. And I used actually the black paper that was absolutely gorgeous, kind of centered that on my scrap so that I would get a pretty little flower part in the middle. And then here is the trick for this lesson, for this class, just uh, what I was calling the price of admission, okay? Here is your gorgeous die that is for a frame. Now you can do this with everything. Explore your dies, look at them. This piece right here does not have a cutting edge. Therefore, when you actually run it through your machine, you're gonna end up with a mat in the middle, not a just a center frame. The, bl the cutting blade is on the outside here and all the little flourishes that are in the inside here. So if you run it with a six inch strip of paper that used to look like this, that's what we have right here, and you fold it in half, and the, you keep the fold piece outside of the blade, therefore you're not going to cut it off, okay? That's the trick, the folded piece needs to be outside of the blade, this is the blade part, okay? Then when you run it through your machine, you're going to get this when you open it up. And if it's creased here in the middle, who cares? You can add another layer to your embellishment. So that is absolutely gorgeous there. And it works really pretty on text paper because it's a little bit lighter and you can kind of see. Now let me be honest with you for those that get, get a little OCD with me. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's embossed, it's perfect. That's the part that was touching the blade. The opposite side, is going to have more of that rough feeling. It's not embossed on that side. It is embossed on the inside. It's okay. Nobody's ever gonna notice. With your plastic page protector, nobody's ever gonna notice. This is just such a wonderful idea to add more texture. So actually this blue strip we have here is a paper that has been cut to fit like that and like this, do you see that? And then the white one is one frame that was cut in half for the top and the bottom. So you actually have two strips 
and then a blue one, and then a white one going across. So just wanted to show you this wonderful little dye technique that we learned at the event. Uh, you can use it with so many of your card dies. We have so many of them that do this kind of, of, of sa the same technique. The blade is on the outside. Keep your fold when you're doing this part. Keep your fold off of the blade and you'll end up with, with that. That'll be just perfect. So now we have our page here. We put our little booklet right on top and it has very strong magnets. I think I used three of them. So I don't even have to put the bread on it. It kind of just snaps right into place. And here we go. You see that? And we're gonna add our flowers back on and our page is complete. So this is our grand finale. This is it. This is it for the uh, create event. If you go back into my channel and start looking at all the other ones uh, and you see a page that you want me to explain or take apart a little bit more, please let me know. I'll be happy to do that for you. Um, of course, I have tons of leftovers from all of this wonderfulness. So I'm gonna have to make a leftover page. I mean, look at how gorgeous this is. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to use it, do a leftover page. Uh, and maybe we'll do something that has uh, the lattice because I'm still, I still owe somebody a lattice tutorial. So thank you so much. And it's been a pleasure showing you the create event uh, layouts. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know, comment below, share, like, uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. I appreciate you guys spending time with me and crafting. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.